having a large group, uh, ideally, yes, you have different opinions that also leads to discussions, but it also leads to some people zoning out, switching off. Hmm. Right? So especially in the video in the video conferencing situation where people can mute their microphone and basically mute their camera. You don't know where they are. You don't know whether they're participating or not. How do you get everyone to participate? How do you make yeah. sure that, you know, that voice that normally might not get heard because it's just you know, he identifies as just the intern, so nobody cares about my opinion. Mm. But maybe his opinion is, or her opinion is particularly important. So how do you activate them to participate actively? Uh, the things to avoid, whether it's face-to-face -face or it's even worse when it's remote, uh, is again to have an innovation project, which is 90% sharing data. And so basically you, you have a four-hour session, three hours and a half when someone is presenting, a, you know, some PowerPoint slides, everyone's sleeping. And then after that, okay, let's come up with some ideas. And everybody by then, you know, they are making themselves a coffee or they just pretend to participate. They just completely disengage, they're disconnected. So the, 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 the trick is if you have to share information, you do it before the session at the essence number one. Number two, if you have to uh, make sure everyone has a base level of knowledge and assume that they may not have read the information, it's five, ten minutes digest. So you surface, make it engaging, make it interactive. You could role play, you can bring it to life in a way that's not another PowerPoint deck that's being shared, which is really, really important. And then on the uh, ideation session themselves, you do exercises. So remember, there's the inspiration, which is very important. So people don't start with a blank sheet of paper. And usually the inspiration is done such a way that it excites people. Even the ones who feel jaded, you know, oh yeah, I've been there, I've seen everything, can't be bothered. And they look at some stuff, say, oh, it's actually pretty cool. I really like that. Mm, yeah, that's pretty cool. And suddenly the interest in the project or even in their own job <laughs> starts to uh, be reignited. And then you get to walk. So you get people to walk and usually we do some exercises to get them to see their challenge differently, for example. And if you do it uh, face to face, it's easy because you can call out people, make sure everyone participates. When you do it on a collaboration tool, if you do it remotely, you can very clearly see, for example, on mural who is writing post-its who is not doing anything. Oh, this guy wrote 10 post-its, or this guy wrote one and then nothing for the last 10 minutes. You just call them out. Hey, John, you only had uh, one idea here, you know? It's interesting. Again, we review that together. Oh, how about that? Just call them out, as simple as that. You know, publicly call them out. And, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. You know, actually, yes, I was uh, making myself a coffee. No, no, it's boy. <laughs> so in a way, you, you can actually call people out. But the trick is to keep, again, the session is short burst. Short, super engaging. There's no downtime where you're here and listening to someone talk for like 20 minutes or half an hour. That's basically the killer. Super active, super engaged. You have no choice but to participate. And then session stops. This is what you achieve. This is what where we are in the process. This is the exciting thing in the next session. Okay, now you can zonk out to make your coffee or etc. That's fine. So and people actually do get the, the hang of it. Even the jaded, even the cynical, when they see the inspiration, when they see the exercise, which are a bit different to the usual, oh, that's not how we ideate usually, that's interesting. Uh, they get taken by the, the role play, by the games, and that's how you get people to participate. You don't need gimmicky icebreakers, you know, the walk in itself has to be fun and engaging.